All right, <clears throat> what is going on? Everybody, if you saw the previous video on the channel, you'll see that I reacted to the Bronco test. Today, I'm gonna perform my very first one. I haven't done anything like this before, nothing timed, definitely. Now the Bronco test apparently was created in rugby as a, a, basically a cardiovascular test performed at the start and at the end of pre-season training to see how um, cardio-wise the, the athletes have progressed with the training that's been performed. It's the first episode of Rugby Player Tries a certain test, a certain physical test, a certain challenge. And today's test is the Bronco. Now the reason I chose the Bronco first is because I saw recently a post by the Auckland Blues and they are beginning pre-season training again because post COVID-19 New Zealand rugby is going to play a domestic competition which is going to be awesome. So every team is coming back into, into camp now that you know you can have more than 10 people at a time in a certain place. So it's all good news here in New Zealand but what happened was they ran a test called the Bronco. I was like well that's interesting. So apparently it was 1200 meters, a shuttle run and Bowden Barrett, probably my favorite All Blacks player at the moment, won. And he set a PB and apparently it was a PB for all of New Zealand rugby of all time and his time was 4 minutes and 12 seconds. So I saw that and I was like well I'm not going to try and beat Bowden Barrett but I'm going to try and beat someone's time. So what I did in the previous video I had a look at a few examples and from that you know basically I've got a time in my head that I should be able to beat if I consider myself fit and fast at my weight and my height and playing the position that I do in rugby and that time is 4 minutes and 45 seconds. So. I suppose I'm going to try my absolute very best to beat 4 minutes and 45 seconds for this test. Now the test is, from this line here, start. The first ball, the, the American football, is at 20 metres. The second ball, the white rugby ball, is at 40 metres. The third ball, the red rugby ball, is at 60 metres. So you start here, you go 20 and back, 40 and back, 60 and back and you do that five times without stopping. Sounds easy right? Well apparently not. Apparently if I can get under 445 I'm doing pretty well and if I can get four minutes and 12 seconds well that well I'll eat my hat and I don't even have a hat but this kind of thing these you know tests physical challenges is right up my alley it's something I've always enjoyed and having a YouTube channel having the ability to bring video content to my channel this is the kind of shit that I really enjoy so I hope you guys do too. What I'm gonna do first is a warm-up so my warm up, you know, I could do a multitude of different things, but today I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to get my head around what the distances are like, and I'm going to run through a Bronco, but just at half pace. So that'll probably take about 10 minutes. That's going to be the warm up. I'm going to catch my breath again, talk to you guys once more, and do the real thing. So I'll see you soon. I swear I like your style, put you in Chanel because it's just perfect for your smile. I swear for you, I run the world, I'd run the miles. The way you look at me, I think I'm going insane. I'm pretty sure it would be a fateful mistake to continue and do the full Bronco even at half pace as a warm-up. So I've done it twice, nice and easy pace, I'm used to the distance, when I get my breath back we'll be going again. Wish me luck. Alright guys, I want to officially welcome you to the first episode of Rugby Player Versus. It's Rugby Player Versus, the Bronco Test, and we're aiming for 4 minutes and 45 seconds.
Shit. Shit. I felt like quitting. I really did. I thought, nah, today's not my day. I'll do the video another day. But I pushed through, and it's these little wins you get each and every day through physical exercise and challenging yourself that I'm just completely and utterly addicted to. I've been addicted to this kind of shit since I was born, and I'll never stop. So guys, I'm gonna go home, put this video together, and find out what my time was. Well that was the first ever Bronco test, holy shit. Okay, I've done it now. I can test myself in another eight weeks and see how we go. That's the fun thing about it. Analytics, stats, I'm all about it. So I'll see you guys at home. All right, my friends, and there we have it. I've just put the video together, and you know, to my pleasant surprise, I must admit, I got 4.43, or was it four? No, 4.41. So, you know, I firmly believe that I could reduce that by at least 10 seconds. You know, I finished that run thinking, it's gonna be close, and if I do manage to, to get under 4.45, it's gonna be because when I turned around for that last 60 meters to come back, I thought, right, I'm, you know, it's the last 60 meters, I'm gonna, I don't care if I throw up, I'm gonna go as hard as I can, and that's what I did. And we were four seconds under the time, so I, I firmly believe that that last 60 meters, the thought that went through my head as I turned, saying, I'm gonna go as hard as I can for these last 60 meters, just in case it's gonna be close, and it was, and we were under time by four seconds. I mean, that's, that's a pretty cool situation, right? So there you go. Jacob McDonald, rugby player, does first Bronco test and gets 443. And I'm gonna head down there tomorrow because I can't leave it like that. I've gotta get 430 or under. And I think we're gonna do it. I hope we're gonna do it. The thing that makes this a whole lot harder and the thing that you don't really think is going to affect you but it does is the stopping and starting so apparently the bronco test used to be just a 1200 meter run you now that doesn't include any shuttles it doesn't include any agility it doesn't include any stop and goes and rugby is a a pretty dynamic sport it's definitely not all in a straight line so when you're turning you know slowing down to a complete stop turning on the line and then having to you know, accelerate again it's pretty brutal. I think that is the, the, the factor that's going to separate the men from the boys in this, this drill. But it wasn't that hard. I mean, at the end of the day, it's only 1,200 metres. So I recommend all you guys out there try it for yourself and let me know how you did. But like I said, I'm going to head back down to the same field tomorrow, set the camera up in the exact same spot, and we're going to do it again. Now that I know that I can get 4.45, I'm going to go as hard as I can, and the result should be, if nothing else, interesting. So guys, that was rugby player versus the Bronco test. Um, I can't wait for the rugby season to start here in New Zealand. And I hope that, you know, wherever you are in the world, you're kicking goals. Because that's the main thing. Humans thrive off of achievement. They thrive off of goal setting, following through with things, achievements, giving, thanking. But as far as our personal journey goes, you know, there is nothing like having a goal, setting a plan, and achieving something. And I'll leave you with that. So I'll see you in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching, and peace out.